game. I don't know, it looks like they're gonna they're on. We'll swap the uh Palto is in red and McNair is blue. So here we go. Link already, Alta already getting some nice grabs out, throwing out projectiles, getting that bomb over there, making great use of using the bomb and the arrow to get that bomb over there. Here we go, trying to get some strings off, just charging the down smash. <laughs> Not sure what that was about. Some more, and here we go. Oh, and oh, I thought he was going for the knee. I figured he'd do up air, another up air and a knee, or maybe just one up air and a knee. I wasn't able to get any of it off. Really trying to get these grabs going though. Oh, nice parry. Able to get a nice little uh, tilt attack off from that, which is good. Parrying, not that great in this game. A lot worse than people initially thought. You don't really get a whole, whole lot off of it. Um, especially there, he was able to turn. Oh, but the uppy on stage, killing the opposite direction. Uh, unlike the last link we saw, the up on the stage is a lot safer than just up being straight up into the air when you're at neutral. Uh, Alto, being a very seasoned player, is aware of that. He makes good good use of it for the kill. And uh, now we've just got McNair really trying to, wants to close, needing to close the second. There it is. Able to get him off uh, with, I believe, a down air. Uh, able to get some... Able to, able to end that stock before getting a really a whole lot of percent on him, but still, also really just showing why he's ranked 4 on PR here, able to just have control of the stage, doing some great edge guarding. Oh, and unfortunately, PS2, the bottom of Pokemon Stadium 2, really can do that against you. You can get stuck under there, and it seems to be the case with McNair right then. He's not able to recover. Also getting some great combos off here. Really using that bomb as almost a decoy. Uh, McNair running into it and hitting it instead of Link. Yeah, ah, unfortunately his attacks aren't really connecting. He's doing them a little bit too close to the ground it seems and that up B thought that was going to be the finish, but unfortunately, I think he did it the wrong way. He probably wanted that to go to the right instead of the left, and that, interestingly enough, that killed cross stage. I wonder if that was a little suspect DI there for McNair, because um, I didn't see the red sparks either, so it's interesting. And now we've got Thinking about the bands. All right, and I'm back. Just had to call out a couple games there. Uh, and, oh, unfortunately, you're right at the SD. McNair shaking his head at that. Doesn't really like that. Um, nobody does. You hate to see it, but, you know, Alto's probably thinking we take those. He's not at the end of the day. Can't really complain if you're the one winning. And a nice little combo there into the up B. Uh, that one a lot more safe. Comboing into it a lot more safe than just throwing it out there. Um, and you know, able to catch him with that down smash. We saw him do that uh, last game, and I was wondering what he was doing. That F smash, though, really uh, making up for this SD. Getting some, uh, not, uh, not getting a lot of percentage on before closing that stock, and now he's got some full rage. Hoping to get some more percentage on, or at least a stock lead on Alto here. But, oh, that nice DI coming out from McNair, able to survive that butt, that bomb. Oh! What is still able to come back? That bomb barely missing him. Oh my goodness. Alto just not letting him back on the stage. McNair desperately. Oh, but the, 
not able to get it. I mean, Alto was not having him on that stage. Captain Falcon just running around, holding on to the bomb. Not letting Link get it off. And that, oh, there's, oh no. Does he have a jump? Oh, he does, I don't think he has a jump. He's not gonna be able to make it back from that. No, that's the game. Two, oh, Alto wins.